welcome to our next LP. We're taking a look at Labyrinth for the Commodore 64. Yay! <laughs> this is, of course, uh, based off the movie Labyrinth, uh, which was released in 1986. It's celebrating its 30th anniversary this year. Ooh, timely. Yeah, so being a big fan of the movie, I wanted to take a look at this one. Mm hmm I don't know much about it, so I'm kind of excited to see it. Yeah! Uh, I should also mention that this year was the first time I actually saw Labyrinth. Yeah! Genghis and I sat down not too long ago, and I made her watch the movie. Well, made is kind of a... It's, it sounds a little harsh. It's more like I agreed. You know. <laughs> but it's good. I liked it. Yeah. You know? Well, hopefully you will enjoy the game. Yeah. yeah so let's get right into it. Bam. Wow, yes. really Activision game. Yeah, and uh, as we're going to see here as well, uh, this is a early Lucasfilms game. Oh, before they were uh, LucasArts. Yeah, uh, the company of course went on to create Maniac Mansion, The Secret of Monkey Island, and Sam and Max Freelance Police. Ah, hmm. look how shiny those letters look. Yeah, it's kind of cute. There's yeah. a lot in this that's kind of charming to me. Let's do it. All right. Can Pixels adequately uh, capture the hotness of David Bowie? Oh god, just you wait and oh. see. Alright, so to start off here, we're doing some name entry. Okay. Uh, we're entering in our gender. Alright. And we are going to enter in our favorite color, which mine is green. Oh, that's nice. Okay. So we start off the game here, just as it says, just standing on a sidewalk okay. in our nameless city. Oh, and there's an owl flapping about. Yes, and that is, of course, if you've seen the movie, uh, is a character who might appear later. Ooh, I'm so excited. But first, uh, before we do anything, we're going to go home. Okay. And we want to pick up uh, one item here, mm -hmm. which uh, this is... Not a necessary item in the game, but okay. it'll make things easier for us. Okay. And we'll kind of see why later. Okay. Oh. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah. So, as we can see, uh, in the TV is playing a trailer for the Labyrinth movie. So this is kind of like a sort of... Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's not how you eat dinner, is it? Well, Do you, maybe Sarah just absorbs it into her face. That's how I eat dinner. Oh. It's the most effective way. Hmm. <laughs> I've been doing it wrong, apparently. Let, let's have a little like, sample of... Oh, oh. oh. Shit. Well, I mean, it's a TV dinner. <laughs> Swanson's. God damn it. <laughs> Complain. Oh. <laughs> no one cares. There's a few kind of cute little moments like this in yeah. the uh, in the game that I quite like. There's a lot of replayability in this one. Aww. Oh, are we going to buy cigars? No, we can't actually go to the cigar store. Are we too young? I, I, I assume it's not. We don't really get an age. Oh, okay. Uh, are we playing, as, like, are we Sarah in this game, or are we just... Uh, we're, us. We're, we're just kind of us. We are oh, we're Shaw. Okay. So we are me. I'm playing. Oh. And there's a beggar here. Well. And uh, and once again, this is kind of a, a thing from the movie. Uh, this beggar. Oh, what? I don't remember this part. So. <laughs> <laughs> Avocado to your juicer. Yeah, so we'll want to remember uh, this nonsense word. Okay. Let's get a close look at this beggar. Oh. Oh, Look, we already gave you a nickel. What do you want? One of our dollar bills? Don't be greedy, sir. We we can give him our dollar bills, but I would advise not to because we uh, need our dollar bills. Yeah. And I mean, a dollar bill in 1980 is like, you could buy a house. Yeah. Yeah, yeah basically. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So now uh, we've kind of, we're on our way to the movie theater. Good. Because we are a lonely, lonely Shaw, and we are going to a movie alone. Well, maybe you could pick up Genghis on the way. Maybe she would mm. like to come along. No, no. Oh. It is you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Okay. Yes. The elephant movie? Yes. So this is kind of a running gag um, okay. in the game. You'll, you'll kind of see 
the payoff for it and uh, the bonus stuff we're going to do for this. Okay. All you need to know is that it's the Elephant movie starring Adam Brait. Okay. And you'll kind of, you'll see what the deal with that is later. Good. I I'm happy. All right, so let's uh, continue our journey into the movie theater. Okay. Good. Well, yeah, only five. Five? Yeah, five dollars. That, that, feel that feels expensive for 1980. No, well, I mean, it's still better than what it is now, I guess. Yeah, but I mean, we also have a five dollar cinema near us. la dee da <laughs> All right, so we've got our ticket. Hmm. And uh, we can see a popcorn stand. Okay. So how about we get some of that popcorn? I don't know. It's probably going to be like $19. <laughs> snack prices, am I right? Hmm. Well, let's check on uh, let's check on those snack prices here. Okay. I can't wait. This is riveting. Oh. Yes, only a, only a dollar twenty-five. But we haven't even specified what we want. Well, we're getting popcorn. But which kind? Popcorn. But no, no, Nat natural <laughs> charcoal. <laughs> no, these things are important. Cold. We didn't want chilled popcorn. <laughs> so uh, if you notice, so we've given her two dollars. Okay, and we get a nickel. No, she uh, she gives us two quarters and change, and she drops a nickel. By accident. Yeah. But uh, if you remember, uh, the, it was only supposed to cost a dollar twenty-five. What? Yeah, bitch is trying to stiff us. Ah! So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my change here. And then you're gonna talk to her about not. I'm, yeah, I'm that one. Complain. Do it. Hey now. But I apparently I don't. I just kind of maybe go a. Because <coughs> I don't seem to specify what the issue is. <coughs> and then she finally. Oh. Gives us our quarter. Oh, wow. It wasn't even an accident. She did that shit on purpose. Yeah, I don't know. Or that she was hoping we wouldn't notice. What? Yeah, so I'm taking my quarter. Okay. And I'm taking that nickel. Cause wow, no, we're thieves. No, no, mine finders keepers. No, we should feel bad. No, it hits. It hit the floor. It's mine. That's not how things work. <laughs> it is in this world. Then why the don't you just world. take people's shoes? They're constantly on the floor. I'm going to take the rest of the money. Oh. Give it to me. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I like how she just, like, pushes me down without any... Yeah, she's uh, like, whatever. Just stop. Just, uh, stop it. You're small and annoying. All right. So now that my failed robbery has uh, left me sad and even lonelier than I was when I first came to this theater alone... Oh. Let's, uh, let's go ahead into... Uh, Lab labyrinth. Yeah, let's go ahead and do I the like movie. how you can go owl, though. You should go owl. You can try and go owl, but you can't go owl, oh, unfortunately. What? That sounds like the new dance craze. Everybody just go owl. Everybody go owl. Uh -uh. Instead, look, we're, we're gonna. I found a seat next to a very attractive boy. Oh. <gasps> oh, let's take a look at the situation. Okay. I grux. Okay. Oh no, a nerdy chick. Damn it. Shit. This is why I didn't want to bring Genghis, because this is probably like what would happen is you would ruin my my uh, movie time with the cute boy. Uh, maybe? But she's going to tell us about the movie, and I don't like spoilers, so I'm going to complain. Okay, good. And then this oh. makes her feel awkward and she leaves. Also what Genghis would do. Yeah. <laughs> But it's okay, because the cute boys is still here, and oh, the movie's starting! Oh! <gasps> Good! Alright. Yeah! Okay. Are you ready? I'm excited to see this. this. better be worth my five dollars. <laughs> oh, it is. I... It's okay, movie. It's, movie. It takes a while. Movie! It... <gasps> 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 I'm sorry, I don't what? have words right now. Oh, I know, it's so beautiful. Oh, jeez. Oh, uh, what? Yes, that's me? Hello? Uh, hello, sir. Oh, I'm so flattered. Uh, I'm pretty great. I, uh, I have... Have you seen my YouTube channel? I, well, there's nothing on my channel. I mean, he uh, probably hasn't, because he's still talking to you. Oh, oh, shit. You know, my weaknesses, there's so many. Oh, jeez. Oh... Uh, oh no! Thrall? The slave. Oh, okay. fancy word for slave. He All is, right. of course, the Goblin King. He can't just say slave, except he does. So, mm. Mm, questions. <laughs> Stop.
Stop being deliberately vague, a uh, man with amazing cheekbones. With pixels. <laughs> and hair. Very, very sharp cheekbones. But so... <gasps> oh no! We have been sucked into the world of the labyrinth! Damn it! Who could have foreseen this? Yeah, oh god, I just want to see a movie. This, uh, what? It's beautiful! <laughs> it's sexy door! Oh! Don't mind if I do. Oh! <laughs> oh, look, here I am! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I'm so beautiful! <laughs> what the hell is going on? I am adorable, look at me! Where are your shoes? I, oh, I'm barefoot! Oh, this is why I went alone to the theater. Oh my god! I'm going through my barefoot hippie phase. Oh! But yes. That is the most awkward, gangly looking sprite <laughs> I've ever seen. <laughs> it's beautiful! Oh, no! Oh, you're just jealous because I, the Goblin King, trapped me in the labyrinth, well, not you. Yeah, because you made me leave. Yeah. <laughs> well, you were, you were being a cock block. Or clam jam? What's the female equivalent? Clam jam? I like that. If that's not the term, it should be. <laughs> All right. Well, yes. So we are we are not Sarah in this, but we do have to uh, get out of the labyrinth just like she did, and we do have uh, thirteen real time hours to, in which to solve the labyrinth. Okay. No baby brother in this one. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> our arms. We're beautiful. They I'm are beautiful. So long. They go to our knees. No, I'm just stopping here, because uh, you can see that there's graffiti on the walls. Oh, what did it say? I was uh, too busy there's being There's various horrified. messages. Okay. Uh, I'm going to probably find another one here. It says, walk through the door. Okay. So various messages about doorways. Okay. Uh, just to quickly point out, so uh, this game was partially developed with the help of Douglas Adams, the author of The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Oh, that's nice. Now we've just come across... Uh, but it's a rock we're oh, going to pick okay. up. Okay. I wasn't sure if it was a rock or a crumpled up paper <laughs> or a tissue. Yeah, you don't really get a good opportunity to, like, look. Um, we kind of lose the ability to look at shit. Okay. Go through the world, world door. Blore? Door. War. But, uh, Douglas is created with the game's opening and transition from a text based format to a graphical one. Meant to parallel the sepia to color transition from The Wizard of Oz. Oh. Retrospectively, project leader David Fox felt the opening sequence was a mistake. He called it tedious and believed it alienated fans. I thought it was pretty fun. It was just kind of cute. I could, uh, I could see, though. We had uh, to observe nutrients with their face. Yeah. I mean, come on. It was, it was cute. Yeah. So, oh, yes, uh, okay. We're just going to take this fucking log with us the rest of the uh, game. <laughs> Where did we put it? I don't know. All right. Just strap it to our back, I guess. Uh, okay. Uh, you look like a hobbit. I can't get over this. This I... is this is freaking terrible. <laughs> I'm adorable. No, look how you're, long my you're neck is. We, yeah, and it doesn't move apparently. Oh, oh yeah, kind of. Yeah. It's it's like it's like a puppet head on a body. As you uh, as you might suspect, our favorite color affects the color of her shirt here. Okay. And as well, if I had uh, entered in that I was male, we would have a male character. Okay. The color of your shirt uh, is said to uh, change slightly what the different doors we enter uh, lead to. Okay. So there is some sort of randomization to the game. Mm hmm. Um. So. I, I had a lot of fun trying to uh, to figure this one out because the walkthrough I found was not written for a green shirt. Oh! But uh, look, we have yeah, look, it's Hoggle. Oh! Look at this little shit. He's, wow! He's kind of terrified looking. I mean, yeah, yeah, not as terrifying looking as you, oh, but uh, come on. at least he's proportional. <laughs> uh, Hoggle's a bit of a buzzkill, though. Well, accurate to the movie. Yeah, true. <laughs> What? So do we have to find a jar? <laughs> Stop repeating that over and over! Let, he's kind of a sour puss. Let's just give him something and make him smile. A ticket? Yeah! Oh, okay. Yeah, he, he seems to just cheer up at it. Alright. And now that he's smiling, uh, he gives us some different advice. Okay. That, that's nice, I guess. It's just, oh, uh, not really... Uh, that's it, Hoggle? Mm -hmm. Nothing? Come on, Hoggle. Okay. All right. Well. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, mm. screw you. Are you gonna come with me? Uh, nope. But much like in the movie, we're going to enter 
The mm. wall! Yes! Good. So anytime you see the graffiti, that's a potential area to just walk into. Oh! And uh, depending on which graffiti you enter, it leads to a different spot in the brick hallway. Okay. It seems to be random even within the game, though, because I found that even reloading a save and entering the same graffiti, sometimes it took me to a different location in the brick hallway. Oh, I actually kind of like that, because it helps add to the idea that it is a labyrinth. You yeah, know? it definitely it does a nice job of kind of mimicking the movie where... You know, everything was kind of sort of working against Sarah. There wasn't really... She didn't really know how to get through. Yeah. Because uh, it was changing constantly to... She should have used a walkthrough. I don't know why she was so uh, <laughs> insistent. Yeah, it was a lot easier. Yeah, come on. But uh, we found something here. Okay. Yeah, oh. A peach. Okay. And I, of course, you you remember uh, what the peach did in the movie? Yeah, it made us a woman. <laughs> but, me metaphorically, yes, kind of. Metaphorically, literally, whatever. Well, we were, Sarah was already, well, I guess she was young. She was a girl. Me not a woman. <sighs> well, alright. This is not uh, much known among the male community, but in order to uh, become a woman, you have there, to yeah, there's dance the. With David Bowie. You do, it's the right of womanhood. And now that he's passed, it's like, well, shit, what do we do? <laughs> yep, yeah, uh, we can only be girls now. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Oh. But uh, we uh, pocket one of Jareth's crystals. There is kind of lying around here. Maybe we can trade it for a baby. But maybe I don't know why we wouldn't. I don't want a baby. Oh, remember this is me. I don't want fucking babies. Can we use the soda machine? Well, we are. We are going to use the vending machine. Okay. You're very good at picking out what it was. I'm surprised. Well, I mean, what else would it be? We're gonna use one of our quarters here. Okay. And uh, we can't really move out of the fucking way. There we go. Okay. It's a beer. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it kind of looks like a beer. It does. Oh, perfume? Yes. Okay. So uh, we're, we're not going to see what we use this for. Spoil it a bit. But at least not in the main run here. Uh, we will be taking a look at this use in the bonus footage. Sounds good. There's going to be a lot of bonus footage for this one because there's quite a lot of different things you can do and things you can talk to. That's cool. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed playing this one. Nice. So, uh, I don't know if you could hear, but there are footsteps. Yeah. I mean, and, uh, sound is so good. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're just gonna uh, kind of sit here for a bit so you can get a glimpse. Oh, oh no! It's a goblin! So, uh, we need to avoid that guy. Okay. Because if he gets too close to us, he will drop us into an oubliette. What's an oubliette? Uh, it is a place you put people to forget about them. Oh. So it's... Okay, that... Yeah. Yeah, kind of a... D oh, oh God! no! Damn it, that was some bad luck. Ah! It's okay. Oh, oh wow. I you turned you into a goblin your, Yeah, it became your own worst nightmare. <laughs> oh, no. Elf and Ralph. Yeah! Oh, is that the, the people... Yeah. Yeah. The, um... So early in development, the... the uh, games team was screened a rough cut version of the film. Um, the team wasn't pressured to reuse events and characters from the film, but they felt obligated to follow the source material. Hmm. So as a result, you're going to see basically all the characters that were characters and scenes in the movie shown here. Nice! Yeah, so here's Ralph and Elf. Okay. Uh, I didn't actually realize that was their name. Yeah, well, they don't, they aren't called that in, uh, in the movie. Interesting. Oh. But, uh, yes. I like them odds. <laughs> so, again, this is something that we'll see in the bonus footage. If we open every door in the brick hallway, they'll chat with us a bit more. That's not really applicable to us right now, but uh, if you were to return to this area, you would need to be able to talk to them okay. to get uh, hints about what to do. Oh. So uh, we're just going to take a look at these doors. <laughs> something tells me that that's not the way we want to go. Uh, are you sure? I, I mean, I know. it looks pretty legit. I have a suspicion. Hmm. But all right, so uh, let's try our luck. Okay. Oh. Oh, but what? I okay. Maybe the castle's underground. M maybe progress. But. Oh. Ooh. Yes. The wall of hands. <laughs> Only good things come from walls of hands. Uh, sure. 
Yeah. I mean, it's probably fine. I turned out <laughs> all right for Sarah. Yeah. It's probably one of the most visually interesting. Well, I, I like it. I like that part in the movie. Yeah. It's I thought you meant here, and it was like... Mm. Oh, well, I mean, this is pretty visually interesting. <laughs> well, for the Commodore 64, it is, I suppose. <laughs> but uh, let's, uh, let's chit-chat a bit. To ask Hoggle? Uh, we could, we kind of just have a list of things we could ask. Okay. So let's ask the wolves. How many people have you, you killed? Oh. Oh. I, uh. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Okay. What do they do with all the bodies? I don't want to, mm. Maybe there's a body sweeper. <laughs> uh, probably, actually. They have the cleaners. Yeah. But, uh, we're going to congratulate them. On what? On fucking killing people. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I guess that made them happy enough to drop us? Well, no, they're, uh, I, actually, what? No, we're going up. Okay, I oh. got, for a minute I got confused what direction we were going. Yeah, that was not, uh, very visually clear. Yeah. All right. We're making good progress, though. This is going to be a quick game. Okay. Um, it's going to take about an hour. So we'll strap in. Yeah, for, uh, an hour. Sh Schwenigan Handshakes Wild Ride. Yeah. My journey through the labyrinth. I didn't get to come. Cause apparently, I'm a cock block or a clam jam, <laughs> a clambo jambo. I'm trying to make it with Jareth, okay? No, you like, were trying to hit on that boy in the theater. But now I'm trying to make it with Jareth. What about the poor boy in the theater? You ha you hussy! Why did you fucking choose Jareth over him? Well, I mean, God I don't damn. blame you, but yes, well, <laughs> you can have the boy in the theater. No, I can't because you chased me off. Well, uh, sloppy seconds. Uh. All right. So you can see the little mini map on the bottom. Whenever there's a black dot, it means there's an item. Oh. If there's a flashing white dot, it means that there's uh, basically another person. It's sometimes an enemy, sometimes it's a friend. Okay. And you have to kind of bank on uh, how lucky you're feeling. Yeah, if you hear the footsteps, that's a good indication that you should try and get the hell out. Okay. Um, cause... Oh, is that another peach? Yep. So we're just going to load up on peaches. Good. I don't like peaches, though, in real life and in this game, so I'm not going to eat any right now. Uh, so if you're looking for uh, presents for uh, Shonigan Handshake, uh, peaches are not on the list. Yeah, please no. Just chicken fingers. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> the Jareth gives Hoggle a chicken finger. <laughs> Give her this! And Hoggle's just like, what the fuck is this? Like, I don't uh, look, know. we tried peaches. <laughs> she, just, she just would not eat the peaches. Uh, you know, I'm just sick of her. Please just give her the fucking chicken finger and when she falls asleep, just fucking dump her at her house. <laughs> Get her out. I'm done. Man, Jareth, stop dropping stuff. Yeah, he just keeps dropping his balls <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> it works on several levels, you guys. Yes! Ball joke. <laughs> oh, hi. So, uh, this is you know, this goblin here, he's kind of guarding the door. I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I don't. It's very true in real life, too. Uh oh. Okay, bye, goblin. So that guy was too preoccupied guarding the door. Oh my god, Scissor Man was here! Oh, oh my god, shit! Shit, he was a goblin from Labyrinth! Oh, mystery solved! That makes so much sense, god. Uh, wait, wait. No, that doesn't make any sense at all. No, it does. I just said it does. Oh, alright. End of conversation. Damn it. But, uh, so. Are the... we gonna cut him in half? No. Uh, we're gonna just, you know, maybe we can make friendly chit chat. <laughs> oh, well. You're not saying what? What did we ask you? God, I just. Yeah, like, what am I. God damn it, tell me something. Is Jareth single or not? I need to know before I embarrass myself. Well, I mean, there's. The, that's an inevitability, let's be honest. We're gonna. We're gonna give him a peach! Aww! Now he gets to dance with Jareth. Yeah, you dick. No, that's great. Aww. What a gift. It's not like he had a chance at either way. Well, he's unconscious. Let's steal from him. Oh. Well, <laughs> that's his just reward. Just because. Yeah. We don't need to. I just want to. I mean, if you're a rival for Jareth's affection, you might as well uh, do what you can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, screw you. Yep. All right. So. Bye. Uh, oh, we don't even need the door. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't. Uh, we can take that way, but well, we might as well go my way. Okay. To just stand there and contemplate our existence. Think, yeah, just think about uh, my oh. life a bit. Nope, we're good. Off we go.
All right. We are severely bow-legged. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently we ride horses all day, every day. Maybe some of us are just built differently. Shut up. <laughs> It's fine. Maybe you just shouldn't sleep on your horse, is all I'm saying. <laughs> Some of us sleep with 15 pillows between our legs, okay? Yeah, because uh, that's how you keep your back straight. Yeah, don't judge. I don't. But I like oh. that. We we can hear footsteps here. Oh. So uh, I'm running away. Okay. So there's a goblin in this area. All right. So we kind of have to duke him out a bit, um... Because there is an item that we want that he's kind of uh, guarding a bit. Wait, do you mean Duke or Deke? Du D Duke, because um, I am going to be a lady oh. of the labyrinth once I marry Jareth. Oh, okay. That's, yeah. That's that was, yes, that D was. Duchess. Yes. Oh, she bought it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Jareth keeps leaving his balls here. All right. Um, which he didn't, like... I There's kinda... more of these when you get close. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of the part in the movie where uh, you see the ball rolling on the ground and it kind of rolls over to where there is a beggar sitting. Oh, right. Yes, and of course the beggar reveals himself to be Jareth in disguise. Right. It's probably my favorite quote of the movie. Nothing, nothing, tra-la-la. Ha-ha. <laughs> and he stands up and it's great because it's just like, what inflection are you going for with that line? Yeah, like, but... <laughs> oh, Yes. Maybe it's a belt. A hula, a hula hoop. Maybe. Oh, that's even better. But yes, yeah, so this is a this is kind of a mandatory item here. Oh. Ah! Ah! No. Oh, it's okay. <sighs> Woo. Yes. Yeah, so we want to make sure that we take this bracelet if we want to be able to finish the game. Ooh. There's quite a few items where that we don't need. But we need this one. Yes, definitely need this one, and we need the shears. I like. The idea is that they're using here because it feels very uh mm, in depth. Yeah, I it's there's a lot of different options. Yeah, uh, to beat the game. That's really cool. I like. I like that they did that. Yeah. All right. Good. You can't be that wise if you walled off your garden with vines. Well, I don't know. Considering the company in the Goblin Kingdom, but what if you need to go to the grocery store? You didn't think of that, did he? They have milk delivery, but you can't get in because of the vines. Just they'll just leave it outside. <laughs> Sup? This guy. This guy looks a little terrible. <laughs> he looks. Uh, there's nothing little about that. He looks awful. <laughs> Definitely not as majestic as he looks in the movie. Uh, yeah. But uh, let's, we're gonna ask him for advice. Ah, oh, oh. Uh, awkward. Okay. I feel shamed. I'm sorry. No, that's all right. Let's get right up in here. Okay. So the wise man is going to give us basically a riddle. Okay. And what he tells you is going to be different each time you uh you end up on the screen. Okay. So you go to the left for first, and then you bloom and right, but something something. Okay. So you kind of have to decode what he wants. Uh, we're just going to give him that nickel, pay him off. Okay. Mm, apparently <laughs> nobody wants dollars. If you uh, if you give him a dollar, the uh, his hat tells you that he's not worth that much. Oh, and wow. And he gives you change. <laughs> <laughs> That's adorable. You Do you get 95 cents? <laughs> you, you get two quarters, what? if I remember correctly. But so... Uh, we have to so to solve his riddle, we're going to the left, and then he mentioned the uh, blooming, and oh. so we know that we need to go to the door with the blooming plant next to it. I get it. Uh, there's quite a few different quotes. Again, it just depends on what he tells you uh, each time you enter that screen. Hmm. I like it. It's like a new experience each time. Yeah, because I should mention that if you fall into a nubliet, you can escape, but you're transported back. Uh, a few areas in okay. the game. So you'll have to kind of work your way back to where you got to. It You won't, depending on where you put it, like if we uh, were caught in the brick hallway, we'd go back to the start of the labyrinth. But if we were caught in the gardens, we would go back to uh, maybe uh, like the second, I forget the second area. Okay. So you wouldn't ever get put to the very beginning of the game, mm -hmm. but you would lose like one or two areas of progress. Okay. That was a fun first part. I yeah. like that. Stay tuned for the thrilling conclusion in my sh my adventure in the labyrinth. I'm here too. <laughs>
No, this is me. On me. Oh. All right. She's just going to edit me out. Yep. Oh. Going to keep Jareth all to myself. No. Yay.